let them. Do you remember to pick that? Yep. Hello, I'm Andre, and I'm going to be talking about string searching. Yeah. Sorry, better? Okay, so I'm going to show you two interesting algorithms that I think perform better than STD search in most cases on large data sets, and I hope you'll consider using them as well the next time you need it. So first, what's std search? So std search is a very basic, very old school algorithm that has been with us for centuries in STL library. And it looks like this, but uh, first, before we talk about its performance, we need to define the data set we'll be processing. So this was my actual work assignment. So I was able to search a gigabytes of dumb files full of binary data for, a, for signatures, for a human readable signatures, and I was guaranteed not to have very many partial matches. Like it's gonna either be there or it's not, something similar is not going to be there at all. So armed with this, let's dissect what std search is going to do for us. So we can see there are two loops, and the outer loop it in in increases our position in the haystack, so that, that would be the file we are searching. That could be quite big. The inner loop, it just tries to match the needle, the string we are going to search at that very position. And if it doesn't work, it advances one position in the haystack and tries it all over again. So this might seem at first like a OM times N algorithm, but actually it is not, because remember we said you're not going to get many partial meshes, so it's very unlikely we're gonna spend any time in the inner loop, because the needle is going to be non-equal very quickly. So even if the compiler is about to vectorize this, and it definitely will try, it doesn't give up much benefit. So this looks like it's a linear algorithm after all, and that's good, right? Like I measured it and it was not great, not terrible, like 900 milliseconds for a 500 megabyte of dump files. But it can be do better, right? And allow me to introduce a new member of the STL17 algorithm family, the search family. This is the boyer moore hospital measure. And I love this algorithm very much, and I think everyone st should start using it. So remember that we had to actually try to touch at least every byte from the haystack before? Well, with the horsepool searcher, we, we don't have to, because it precomputes how far we can jump forward in order to not get past our match if there is a match. So as we can see, we are jumping quite over, over a large part of the haystack in order to get to the end of the needle quite quickly. And then we just confirm if we actually have a match. And in this case, we do. So this is vastly faster than the std search, it, especially if we have a lot of data. And it, it works the way it constructs a lookup table. And, and for every letter, it knows exactly how many letters it should fast forward to. So you can see from the benchmark that the runtimes, especially for larger high stacks, larger needles, sorry, are going to be vastly faster. But even on the small ones, it's quite good. But can we do better than that? And turns out we can, but I'm sorry I'm about to show you this because this is not STL and this is not C++ either. We had to resort to using raw assembly and the streaming sim instructions to vectorize the outer loop of the std search. So you see, instead of matching every character from the haystack with the first character of the needle and then continuing based on finding the match or not, how about, how about we can we try a large part of the haystack and try to match it with the first character of the needle at once? And we have instructions to do that for us. And if we don't find a match, we advance a lot, and I'm showing you eight byte registers, but you know AVX2, we have 40, 64 byte registers, so it's going to be bindingly fast. And if we do find a match, then we just, in parallel, try to match the, all of the occurrences until we either stop or we find a complete match. And so, this was bindingly fast in my case with relatively small needles. And you see it, it's going to 300 milliseconds in all cases. And I found out this is actually hitting my memory throughput rather than uh, the throughput of the instructions. So, but does this have any inconveniences? Well, it gets slower with partial meshes because now it increments only one character at a time. But more of, rather, the problem is it's on C++. And I don't know how to program this in C++ yet. So if any of you do, please help me out because we had to resort to assembly here. So my closing lines, 
there's no optimal way to search any shape of data. You have to think about it. But uh, if you have a large data set, I really recommend the whole spool searcher and maybe annotations to help other choice. Thanks.